I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Welcome to Hashtag Friday Sews, episode 12. A big thank you to Jen once again from today in Jen's sewing room for creating the hashtag. And don't forget that you can use the hashtag to search on YouTube and find a bunch of videos just like this one where uh, YouTube sewers basically talk to you about what's been happening in their sewing room over the course of the last week. So I've got a little bit of sewing to talk to you about today, a little bit of a fabric haul, and a little bit of life. So uh, let's get right into it with the sewing part. So I did not spend a whole lot of time in the sewing room this week, but I did manage to finish a Lido uh, t-shirt dress from Seamwork. Now, I don't have any proper pictures of it yet. All I have is this video that I basically took right after I finished it um, yesterday, the day before. And yeah, I sent the video to my daughter to get her opinion because I don't know that I love it. I think I think it's missing something. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the fabric I used. I mean, I love the color of it. I love the contrast bands for the neckline and the armbands, but I, I don't know. It, it doesn't drape. The fabric doesn't drape. It's a cotton lycra that I used, and although it's really, really nice, it's not very drapey. So now I ordered some D-rings from Amazon, and I'm going to try to see if I can make myself a belt to kind of bring it in a little bit at the waist. What I'm afraid is going to happen, though, when I do that is it's going to get too short because right now it's at the length that I like. So if I put a belt on it, it's going to shorten it. Obviously, it's going to bring it up a little bit, and I don't know that I'm going to like it. So I do have some of that fabric left. So what I could do is maybe add some kind of ruffle or band at the bottom to lengthen it a little bit so that if I do end up making a belt, it's going to be at the length I like. But anyways, I mean, I wore it all day the day after I finished it and it's really comfortable. I'm just not sure I like it on me. Um, and I think it's mainly due to my fabric choice, really. So that was my one finish this week. I do have a bunch of things in progress. So um, I started making a bunch of mini quilts for my bedroom, so to put on top of my bedroom furniture. And as I am making those mini quilts, I'm also filming the process. So I'm working on a mini series of, quil of uh, videos on quilting. Part one went live on Sunday. Uh, this past weekend, I've got part two ready to go, and that's going to go live on Sunday coming. And then uh, over the course of the next few days, I'm hoping to do all of the basting, quilting, binding, so that I can record that and put out the video the following Sunday. So that's number one priority in my sewing room for the next few days. Um, I'm also starting to think about what I want to make in June. Um, I've got a few plans floating in my head, including a hoodie or t-shirt for my husband. I really want to participate in a challenge that kicked off on June 1st, and it is hashtag... Uh... He made June 22, and that's organized by Adam Sows and the one, uh, one Lisa Show, both on Instagram. And then the challenge is actually also taking part on Instagram. So you have to make a garment for a man in your life or a boy in your life, and then post a picture of it on June 30th. Um, and the goal is to basically bring awareness to the men's pattern 
uh, patterns out there because there really aren't that many. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a really fun challenge. So I'm definitely going to make something for my hubby, maybe even for um, my son, Max. So yeah, we shall see, but definitely something for the hubby to be entered in that challenge. Now, as far as other plans, um, I do need to make a dress for my daughter. I'm going to make her the Brisbane dress by Itch to Stitch. I've ordered the fabric for it. It actually got here a couple days ago, and I don't see it in my sewing room, so I can't show you, but I'm going to show you when I publish my May makes and plans for June video. So those are the big things. So finish the mini quilts for my bedroom and finish the video series on that. Make some t-shirts or maybe a hoodie for my husband for the challenge put on by Adam and Lisa. And then make a dress for my daughter. Uh, the dress is kind of urgent because she's leaving for Spain. A um, little last minute trip, lucky girl. So she's leaving for Spain on June 9th, and I'd like to make the dress for her to take with her if possible. So that's going to be a priority in the sewing room. Well, obviously next week because she's leaving on the 9th. All right, next up are the purchases I made as far as fabric lately. So the first thing, so I have that on my make nine. I want to make myself a bathing suit this year. Um, it's going to be probably like shorts and a tank kind of, sort of like a tankini kind of, of deal. And I haven't definitively chosen the patterns yet, although I have, I've narrowed it, narrowed it down to a couple, um, but I did buy my fabric. So I ordered from Blackbird Fabric this amazing swim fabric. So it's navy blue with seashells all over it. I love this. Isn't that cool? So I think that's going to make a really fun bathing suit. I have two and a half meters of this, I believe. Yes. So two and a half meters, which should be more than enough to make myself a pair of like short shorts and a tankini type of top. I also purchased some lining. So my flesh colored lining and I've got one meter of this. And while I was shopping on their website, um, I also got some elastic, so swim elastic, and these really cute K uh, Kylie and the Machine uh, labels. So this one is You Are Loved. So I'm going to put this when I make gifts for people. And this one says Handmade which I also love, like how cute is this? So there are 10 in each package. So that's from uh, Blackbird Fabrics here in Canada. Now also, um, I watch, and I'm probably not the only one, uh, I watched every Sunday night, Andrea and Karis from Beyond the Pink Door hold a live, um, on YouTube and Andrea basically spends one hour going through the new fabric she's got in her shop you know showing us the fabric how it drapes and blah 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 and last week or a couple of weeks ago I the, she was wearing a blouse in an absolutely gorgeous fabric and I just had to get it now they're based in Ireland um, so shipping is not cheap but based on everything I've been hearing and seeing and all the reviews, her fabrics are of such good quality and they're really not expensive that the extra cost of shipping makes it worthwhile, basically. And um, I didn't have to pay duties on any of this. 
So just the shipping and the cost is in Euro. Anyways, it turned out it wasn't that bad. So what I ended up doing while I was on the site is not only did I purchase fabric, but I also subscribed to their Think Pink subscription box. Now this is box number four. And when I was watching YouTube videos of people unboxing their boxes number one, two, and three, I got serious envy um, and FOMO. So um, yeah, decided to sign up for box four. And I basically signed up for the whole, like for as a subscription. So I'm gonna get this monthly. Now in the box, you always get two and a half meters of very, very high quality fabric. You get a gift or gifts with an S. You get the thread to go with the fabric. And Andrea also records a, an exclusive video just for subscribers on how to use the fabric, how to take care of it, how to sew with it, and that kind of thing. So this month we got a fun little patch that you can sew on your clothes. So watermelon, love this. We got some bias binding. How cute is that? Love this. We got um, a soap, a lavender soap, which smells absolutely amazing. And this is handmade by an artisan in Ireland. I love that Andrea always chooses products that are made locally. So this was handmade. Oh my gosh, you guys. This smells divine. So this is um, Soapy Lou's Soapery, and it's lavender and tea tree. It smells amazing. So got that thread. And this is the fabric in this month's box. How beautiful is this? So it's like um, it's like a chambray, like an embroidered chambray. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this. And I have two and a half meters. So technically, I could make a dress with this, but I'm not crazy about dresses. I think I've said this before. So I'm thinking an Ashton top and a pair of shorts to make it look like a, a play suit, but it's gonna be separate so that I can wear the Ashton top with white pants or jeans, and then I can wear the shorts with a white t-shirt. Um, I love this fabric so, so much. So yeah, so that's the Think Pink subscription box so that was box number four and as i said when i was on the site i basically went to buy some fabric and i ended up getting three cuts i'm sorry about the rustling quick 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 so first was the fabric that andrea herself was wearing during that live and this is it isn't this absolutely gorgeous I love this. It's nice and drapey. It's lightweight. It's a cotton lawn. And this is going to make an amazing, amazing blouse. Not sure what yet, but yeah, I love this. Love this. I think I got a meter and a half. Yeah, a meter and a half because I was thinking a short sleeve blouse with this. And then I got another cotton lawn, this beautiful navy and light blue and white florals. Again, very nice and light and airy. This is going to make another awesome blouse. I got another meter and a half of this one 
And finally, a rayon, uh, yeah, viscose lurex in a navy and gorgeous pink and orange flowers. And you've got like the gold thread in there. I don't know if you can see all the little gold threads. This is absolutely stunning. And again, because it's viscose, it's really, really nice and floaty and drapey. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think, looks like I got two meters of this one. So yeah, and I was thinking another blouse, but maybe I would make a blouse with poofier sleeves or maybe even three quarter sleeves in this because it's so dark i think i can probably pull this off in the fall i don't have to just wear this in the summer so yeah i'm so so happy with my fabrics from um beyond the pink door super super pleased all right and then uh, as far as life is concerned it's been a very 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 hectic week um so my son got married um on saturday so the weekend that just passed it was an absolutely perfect perfect day the sun was shining but it wasn't crazy cold it was 20 21 degrees outside uh it, it, we just had a fantastic day with family and friends yeah it was it was perfect it was perfect um i don't yet have any pictures um no pictures of me in my dress, no pictures of them. Uh, we're hoping to get stuff within the next couple of weeks. But yeah, and, and as soon as I do, I will share. So last weekend was all about the wedding and then recuperating from the wedding. And this week, uh, this week was my birthday. So um, I was working all week and had crazy, crazy long days. So not much happening. However, this weekend... I'm having lunch with my mom on one day. I'm having dinner with my siblings on another day, so on Saturday. And then our six kids and the seven grandkids are coming for dinner here on Sunday night. So it's going to be a bit of a crazy weekend. Um, but yeah, fun. I mean, yeah, time spent with family and the ones I love, so... All very, very good, very, very good plans for my birthday. And that is pretty much it for me. Um, yeah, that was my week. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for stopping by. Please like the video on your way out if you liked it. And consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.